friends welcome back to my channel if the most majestic and powerful lion ever existed in this world then it was undoubtedly the barbary lion this lion also known as the atlas lion egyptian lion or north african lion is a subspecies of lion that became extinct in the wild in the 20th century its former habitat range was in North Africa encompassing the region from Morocco to Egypt. The Barbary lion is considered to be amongst the largest in physical size of all lion subspecies in history. The weight of an average Barbary lion could range from 270 to 300 kg and his mane was very thick, dark and black in color, which used to touch his belly through his neck. After living for centuries undisturbed, the decline of the Barbary lion population coincided with the rise of the Roman Empire. Thousands of Barbary lions were captured by the Romans and moved to arenas and private menageries to entertain. This subspecies of lion was well known when it was used in gladiator fights, mostly being killed for sport. It was hunted to extinction in the wild in the mid 20th century. The last wild Barbary lion was probably killed in 1922 by a French colonial hunter in Morocco. But in 1942, this lion was spotted again in the Atlas Mountains of Morocco, which was probably the last wild Atlas lion. Today, only a few individuals which descend from this lion survive in captivity, mostly in zoos. And over the last few years, there have been growing calls for the reintroduction of the Barbary lions to the wild in Morocco. So now the big question is, will it be possible to reintroduce Barbary lions to the Atlas Mountains? My answer is no and yes. No, because the main reason for this is that there are no known surviving Barbary lions in the wild or in captivity that are purebred. Most of the lions that exist today have been crossbred with other subspecies of lions, which means that reintroducing them to the wild would not be considered a true restoration of this species. Number 2. Lions born in captivity can't be reintroduced in the wild for many reasons as well. They are used to humans and won't fear them. They don't know how to interact with the wilderness, including hunting, etc. Number 3. There is currently not enough wilderness in the Atlas lion's original habitats to sustain lion population, as almost all of it have been turned into human environment or deserts. Moreover, reintroducing a species to the wild is a complex process that involves several factors including habitat suitability, availability of prey, and the genetic viability of the captive population. Efforts to reintroduce species often require extensive planning, collaboration between conservation organizations and governments, and addressing potential challenges. But friends, you don't need to be disappointed. There is also a good news for the lion fans. However, in the late 20th century, some scientists found a group of lions in a zoo in Rabat that bore the distinctive characteristics of the Barbary lion species. More lions thought to be Barbary lion descendants were discovered in Ethiopia, the United Kingdom, Northern Ireland, Spain, France, Germany and the United States. And I would like to tell you that the Barbary lion of Morocco's captivity is the purebred Barbary lion because this is the lion which Aboriginal people had gifted to the Sultan who belonged to Morocco 
and he himself had told that all these lions were pure breed there are about 32 barbary lions in the entire zoo which is half of the worldwide barbary lion population Wildling International, in collaboration with Oxford University, launched their ambitious international Barbary Lion project. Oxford used the very latest DNA techniques to identify the DNA fingerprint of the Barbary Lion subspecies. Although the Barbary Lion may be extinct in the wild, but scientists look to identify a handful of lions in captivity around the world that may be descended from the original Barbary Lion. These descendants were to be tested against the DNA fingerprint and the degree of any hybridization can then be determined. The best candidates were to then enter a selective breeding program stated to breed back the Barbary Lion. The final phase of the project intended to see the lions released into a national park in the Atlas Mountains of Morocco. As of March 2010, two alleged Barbary lion cubs have been moved to the Texas Zoo in Victoria. Texas where efforts are being made to preserve the endangered species under the Wildling International Conservation Program. In Morocco, a protected area of 10,000 hectares has allegedly been defined in a sparsely populated area in order to build this ambitious project. And if this happens soon, they will be released in the National Park of the Atlas Mountains in Morocco and thus they can be brought back again. So friends, what do you think? Will the Barbary Lion be able to return to the Atlas Mountains again or not? Do tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share.